Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly. I don't know if you've seen some of the recent videos regarding dedicated servers or not, but um, most in particular is Jive Turkeys. I'll make sure and leave a link in the description below. Make sure and go check his video out. Check his channel out. He's a really cool dude, so make sure and go check that out. All right, so he goes on to talk about dedicated servers, and apparently they're not as great as everybody thinks they are, which myself included. Now, for the last four or five CODs, you've repeatedly heard that. Dedicated servers, dedicated servers, which I don't really see any difference. Now, with Black Ops 2, there was just a hot-ass mess going on, so nothing probably could have helped it. But, you know, I was kind of looking forward to it as far as, you know, the next-gen consoles and Call of Duty Ghosts. But anyways, Jive goes on to talk about you pretty much have one of two options. If you're on dedicated servers, then whenever you play, like, you don't rank up. You don't get any points, which I find kind of funny. It's pretty much like a custom private match that you can join, just not private, if that makes sense. You're not going to be just with friends, your Xbox friends, what have you. You can be with random people, but it will be on a dedicated server. Or you can play normally, but it won't be on a dedicated server. Oh, what the hell? Am I the only person confused by that? That is totally not my interpretation of when I think dedicated servers. That is not what I thought of. But anyways, like I said, make sure and go check out his video. He does a full description. It, so good. So, all right, guys, with that being said, I wanted to be, I wanted to do like a, a top five reasons or a top five things that Call of Duty Ghosts needs in order to succeed also the top five things why black ops 2 didn't all right number five y'all it gave players black ops 2 gave players the false belief that they were good and what i mean by this is if individuals camped you would actually get more points camping than you were if you were the person running around doing all the work yeah all the other Call of Duties, if you were good, you were good. If you were bad, you were bad. There was no in the middle, you know? And what I mean by that is it's kind of like math. <laughs> Either you're good or you're bad. There wasn't in, you know, any in between. It wasn't really a way to study, per se. You're either good at it or you suck. No in between. Number four. Black Ops 2 did way too many things. It was had too much stuff going on from the league play, the theater, the live streaming. It was just overdone. There were so many things that were thrown into this game. And I really think that eventually that's what made all the lag, all the problems exist. I'm almost convinced that the theater mode is what caused this. Um, you know, somebody had told me the other day, you know, back in the day when things were basic, before you created a class, before you picked all this, you know, picked your perks, this, that, and the other, picked a map, Call of Duty ran smooth. It was when they started incorporating all these things that that's when all the lag and, you know, the lag comp, this, that, and the other, that's when everything started to go, you know, to come into place. Back in the day, originally, you know, when we didn't have these choices, Call of Duty ran great. Number three, lag. I'm going to tell you this. Call of Duty Ghost is only going to be as good as the fucking connection. <laughs> I'm just telling you. To hell with the lag comp. It, you know, it's not fair if I have better internet or vice versa. It just, this whole false belief that David Vondahar thinks that, well, everybody should be on the same playing field regardless of their connection, regardless of their internet type. Bullshit. I pay for mine. I should get what I get. You know, get what I pay for. Number two, the broken cameras. I have showed proof that the broken cameras are clearly an issue in Black Ops 2. Clearly, whenever I'm around a corner or what have you, I've showed multiple videos that I shouldn't even got killed. You know, it, it, my screen... Their screen is completely different. Apparently it had something to do with lightweight. I don't know. But they got to fix that shit. And the number one reason to me, OP guns, unbalanced weapons. I don't care if we're talking about snipers. I don't care if we're talking about pistols, the KSG, any kind of shotgun, what have you. Black Ops 2 was full of this. You know, I know a lot of individuals complained about the snipers. I myself was just completely annoyed with the pistols. You know, the pistols were 
like snipers. <laughs> I mean, essentially, so was the KSG. I know they nerfed it a couple of times. They nerfed the Cat 40s, but still, it was, it is. It's it, even today, it's still absolutely ridiculous. So the weapons absolutely have to be more balanced. And this OP pistol, sniper, KSG stuff has got to go. We cannot have any of that shit. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm hoping, I'm really calling it, I'm, I'm feeling good about Call of Duty Ghost. I'm hoping it's going to be great. Um, for me, I had a horrible experience with Black Ops 2. I've complained, I know, the entire nine months. And I cannot wait, you know, for um, Call of Duty Ghost. I said that I wasn't going to be as excited. I, you know, wasn't going to be in line at midnight to get it, what happened. Have you but um this black ops 2 is just you know really taking its toll on me i guess i don't know i'm i'm ready to get back to the basics i'm ready to get back to an infinity ward game a true call of duty game you know i've always said this since call of duty 2 i've always said that infinity ward you know develops better games you know than treyarch they always have. I mean, I don't know. Anyways, guys, I just want to let you know the top five reasons, top five things that Call of Duty Ghost needs in order to succeed. Also, it was the top five reasons Black Ops 2 failed. Anyways, guys, I'm really still looking forward to Call of Duty Ghost. So let's continue on with the road to November. That's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.